Good morning, folks. You can see the SDO satellite calibration maneuvers. We're going to be discussing earthquakes, a volcano, news on ancient Mars, a cosmic glitch in gravity, and yet another wow revelation about the space weather from the last year. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where solar flaring was lower, eruptive activity was lower, but we have new sunspots incoming and the plasma filaments remain. Hopefully you caught our video last night. We may have a glancing blow CME impact coming at the start of the weekend. Let's go ahead and look at the sunspots. HMI return here showing the development of the northern active regions. Significant growth over the last 24 hours. We also have a compact sunspot group in coming on the south as the plasma filaments turn through center disk. We do have sunspots coming behind them. Eruptive potential will remain high over the coming days. Folks, that earthquake swarm in Hawaii, still ongoing. They become increasingly concerned about the caldera there, and the national park remains closed. We'll be monitoring the magmatic tremors today. Mount Ruang erupted again and put on an unfathomably beautiful show of lightning in the hot gas and ash cloud. It settled relatively quickly, but they do fear more eruptions are coming. First up in today's articles is this, more evidence that Mars was once like Earth before losing its magnetic protection. They found that conditions inside of the Gale Crater were once habitable as we define them here on Earth. Link to that article is below. From there, we go out to cosmic distances where gravity does not behave like they've imagined. Excellent article here discussing how the traditional notions of gravity begin to break down at extreme distances like those between galaxy clusters. It is little clues like this that can eventually aid them in figuring out how things are truly connected and are interacting in the deep vastness of space. Last but not least, folks, we have done a lot in the last few weeks on the confirmation and explanation of the wild space weather effects seen from modest solar activity over the last year. The magnetic pole shift has not only been letting lesser space weather do more to Earth, but the effects are becoming unlike anything ever seen even with bigger solar storms. Here's another example where their only conclusion is that we took a new kind of space weather geomagnetic disturbance. Well, new in a way, I suppose. Observers, bet you can put those pieces together. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.